first day of fishing which we requested yesterday because of the afternoon rain but we are also not sure if today will work out because the sky is very dark and it's still drizzling the wind is quite strong this morning I'm apprehensive as of now whether to launch as you can see the ground has turned into a mini swimming pool Right now, Nigel has gone for a bit of fishing. After uh, that, he'll head out again for his diving trip. I'm still, I'm on the island right now, staying here. I uh, take a few photos and videos of what's happening here. Uh, there's a camera here, there, and another one there as well. fresh fish from the sea, just one, one of our babiko and the uh, coconut from the tree and uh, fresh uh, rice and fresh lime, fresh uh, onion which is served as a Maldivian traditional lunch. So this is it. And special uh, soup from the fresh fish. Hello! Good! Huh? No, I cannot. But you turn it around here. Right? Yep. Meaning is now the zips opened up on the way here though. Ah, that's opening up again, see? <laughs> really? Yeah, that's opening up. over three hours actually. Uh, we were topping out at about 52 kilometers per hour for the most of the trip. The captain was quite uh, good in feathering the throttle whenever the, uh, the waves started bouncing up and down.
Ferry, we are headed to Ulu Malay from Malay. Ulu Malay is connected via a land bridge to uh, the airport island. I don't know what that's called. Over the three places that we stayed at so far, we had two single beds from the first one and the second one and they always pushed it together. So this time uh, it's one gigantic queen size bed. Uh, yep. So, so we finally arrived uh, in Ulu Malay. It's a surprisingly long drive to, to this place from the uh, airport area. Ulu Malay. Yeah, it's really Ulu. Uh. Ulu Malay is Ulu. Uh, so we ended up at a Chinese restaurant. Because the prices are a bit steep. Pretty steep actually. You see even the exchange rate seems to be fixed. So it's always 15 is to 1 everywhere you go. USDs. So plain rice is 2 US dollars. Which is uh, quite exorbitant. So, and, there's, uh, and there's no pork as well. So we ordered cuttlefish fried towel god. This is it. This is our cuttlefish. Uh, looks similar to what you would normally uh, expect in Singapore. Not really, yeah. So yellow. This is the Chinese Sichuan Chang. at City Grand. Milk and uh, milk coffee is on the way. Uh, it's a bit uh, sparse though. That's one way to eat breakfast.
trying to find out, uh, trying to eat at this uh, place that was highly recommended, uh, pizza and lasagna, but it was closed for our prayers. When we came back again, we saw a sign that said it was uh, closed for a private event, only be open at 8 p.m., which is too late for us. So we walked around and we decided to have uh, burgers, and it turns out the burger place is the same place as the Chinese that we had last night. Same burger place. Okay, we have received our Western food. Beef girl burger, which apparently looks like a bit with crisps. Yeah. On this chicken with fries. Because mine is with the combo. Fire juice. We're almost coming to the end of our trip. It's been a trip with good feelings and slightly not so good feelings because of fish lost and a little bit tired but looking forward to Singapore and Singapore food actually. So you can see it's sunny again. So we have experienced sunny wet weather during our trip. Not so happy about the wet and windy weather. We are now having a meal on the airport and we are on the way back to Singapore from Mali. Uh, it has been an up and down trip for us. I think some days there were better fishing, some days not. We had the occasional sunny weather and strong winds. But everything turned out fine, we were safe and sound. Uh, this, uh, this is from the fake Starbucks. Over there, the coffee club. Yeah, Sean mentioned that the coffee club, the decor and the food offerings look quite similar to Starbucks, but it apparently isn't Starbucks standard. This muffin isn't really appetizing. It's alright, it's alright. It's alright. Burger King tastes like Burger King though. Hmm? Burger King tastes like Burger King though. Taking the uh, bus to the to the plane, where we'll walk up the uh, flight of stairs to the plane door. We uh, they don't have arrow bridges here, but I feel that uh, this uh, this adds to the experience. I think moving to the plane and walking up the steps is uh, better than being hidden inside these arrow arrow bridges. This feels more authentic. Okay, so we're on the plane now, headed back to Singapore. Uh, haven't taken off yet, but we'll be taking off soon. Uh, so, uh, see you in the next video. Uh, and see you next time.